Hello everyone and welcome to the ultimate JNSQ series in Kerbal Space Program 1.12 with all the bells and whistles. We've got Parallax 2.0, we've got Blue Dog Design Bureau, we've got USI Modular Colonization System, we've got Kerbal Atomics, we've got Near Future Construction, Electrical, Exploration, Propulsion, and Solar. We've got Kerbalism, but if I find that it's making things less fun, I swear I'm going to replace it with Tac Life Support, especially if it doesn't play nice with USI. I even have extra, extra planetary launch pads, which I've thrown into installs all the time, but never actually got to use. Uh, will I use it this time? Who knows? I had previously started a JNSQ series in KSB 1.7.3 and didn't do many videos in it for reasons I don't remember. I am eyeing Kerbalism suspiciously as a culprit there. My goal in this series is just to have fun and try to optimize system with the parts that I'm not familiar with. I haven't used most of these part mods much and even though BDB roughly corresponds to some real life rockets, I'm not gonna stick to replicas or anything like that. I have specifically excluded procedural parts, tweak scale, and any parts that I have made myself, since all of that would largely lead me to ignore the parts of other mods entirely. Uh, I may not make the best mods for everyone, but I certainly make the best ones for me. So anyway, that is the idea. Uh, for those who are not familiar, JNSQ is a mod that rescales the Kerbal system, changes the planet somewhat. The scale is 2.7x, so that's roughly one quarter the size of real life, and it is substantially larger than the stock system, such that the parts actually do more or less what they're supposed to do in the sort of stock stat kind of way. Uh, and we are going to do a career mode. Uh, as much as that may constrain my uh, my freedom and my imagination, we will we will go with those constraints. So uh, I'll just call it JNSQ. Yep. I need to sneak in my custom flag, but we'll settle for NASA for now. And we are going to assume hard. Um, I don't know if I should allow re reverting flights, just in case there's glitches. I'm going to have the facilities indestructible though, so we're going to go custom. I might reconsider allow reverting flights later on if it turns out that there's uh, any sort of issue, but uh, require signal for control, plasma blackout, um, part pressure limits, g-force, Kerbal g-force, and we will allow cryogenic boil off, but I found that the rate was really high, so I'm going to go 20% on that. So the thing is, uh, it, it seems to have in space the ground level boil off there. I will have a mod list in the video description so you can follow along, but I have to warn you that unless you have 32 gigabytes of RAM, it's going to be really hard to run this all together. So I think it's doable with 32 gigs of RAM. I have 64, so I am personally not worried. Uh, this should all run smoothly. Okay, I, I don't know if I need to change anything else here right now. We'll find out along the way and you guys can tell me. There is a lot of stuff here that I am not familiar with. I have played Realism Overhaul for an extended period of time now. And like I said, JNSQ, we're talking about years ago, last time I've seen it. So, except for the test run that I did in a video recently. Uh, known incompa incompatibilities, colony tools, Kerbalism won't run. See, now Kerbalism is already making trouble, isn't it? I, I sort of remember this. Okay, so per Kerbalism's request, I have removed colony tools.dll specifically. Uh, that probably will cause problems for USI, but we're not at the phase that we're going to be using USI. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. So, we have just the start technology available. We've got uh, stuff for modular launch sites here, which we also have, because we have everything. Uh, anyway, uh, not quite, but it seems that way sometimes. And we've got plenty of parts to work with. So let's see. Um, escape the atmosphere sounds like a plan. And uh, launch our first vessel probably should happen. Okay, let's see if we can do that efficiently and quickly. Oh, we've got the VAB music for some reason? That's nostalgic. I'll, I'll allow it for now. Um, I, I thought I had turned all the music off, but suddenly we have the VAB music for reasons I cannot understand. A gnarly probe core, huh? Well, these are the vanguards, but we won't talk about that. 
I mean, I sort of like the Explorer 1 core better. But this is lighter, so if we're going to optimize, let's optimize. I want an even smaller decoupler. Um, that seems fine, right? Let's see our engines. Biplane engine, no. <laughs> Viking liquid engine. Maybe solid? I mean, why not solid, really? We could use the baby sergeants, that's what they are. A whole bunch of baby sergeants. So we'll be uh, confusing things a bit, but... Oh, that works. Oh, this this uh, Viking liquid engine is too big for this. I mean, right now, if we take a look at our engines, this one's got two Sony vacuum, 249, 249, 235, 235, 235, 165, 186. That's pretty expensive already. That's a thousand. Oh, this one is cheaper though, but not by much. That's 2,000. The pro cores are really expensive. How is a pod... Well, that's unpressurized though. The pods are cheaper than the probe cores. That seems wrong, doesn't it? We could probably just tuck this stage into the fairing. I really don't want to make the Vanguard rocket, but... We're, we're basically making the Vanguard rocket right now. Look at that Delta V. Could we just launch it? 3,161 is pretty darn good, isn't it? Would it get to space, do you suppose? <laughs> uh, well, the aerodynamics are just gonna be horrible and I'll flip out, but... Well, I have precisely one fuel tank that's in this diameter, as far as I can tell. This, uh, we've got plenty of adapters that go from 0.625 to 0.9375. We got a couple of them, but we've only got one fuel tank that's 0.9375. I mean, this is OP for just getting to space, though. Problem is, we don't have an engine. I know, we could probably do science on the surface and just unlock something new. I wonder if, what science there is for that probe core. We'll probably find out. I'm trying to keep this cheap. That's not a lot of Delta V out of that tank. Stock. There we go. Stop limiting me. Okay, well... Um... It seems wrong. We don't have a huge budget either. I should probably recover this probe. It's expensive. But do we even have parachutes yet? We do, but it's heavy and huge. So I guess not. This seems to have like spin stabilization stuff on it. It has RCS and mop propellant. So maybe we can spin stabilize before releasing that thing. Maybe. Alright, let's take it outside. Um, well, we, we have a weird... Um, there, there's a ghostly sort of pattern here. And I had seen that before with KS3P having the... the SSAO enabled ambient occlusion but I thought it would be okay without the ambi ambient occlusion anyway we have SAS that's good we have the trees which is okay we have throttle and ignition and launch up we go okay we'll activate RCS so it can hold itself hopefully and oh, oh no 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 the RCS isn't good enough Okay, release the fairing. Okay. Alright, we'll need more finage. And maybe spin stabilization earlier. This built in. We've we got way too much mod propellant if it's gonna fire this. at this rate. Up, 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 up,
<laughs> oh, well, it was a nice try. <laughs> oh, well. It's not aimed in any particularly good direction. Probes are expensive, though. Okay, uh, can we get any info from it? A telemetry report running. Ah, oh, come on, come on. You can transmit. You can transmit. Well, we get launched our first vessel. Not too sure the, the little ice flows are really doing it for me here. Especially the way they materialize. I assume these are ice flows, right? Oh well. That's the end of that. Okay. Uh, let's go to the research center and see if we can unlock something with our 8 science. Really want nicer liquid engines. Maybe smaller parachutes would be good too. Bloodhound camera system. Lots of stuff. Lots of parts. I think, like I said, I'm gonna go for engines, so we're gonna go for basic rocketry here. Usually a good bet. Oh, we can pick up one more contract. Transmit any science experiment data from Kerbin to achieve this goal. We now, we're rolling in money. I guess we got some we've done it, but uh, I don't think it was just from the launch of the first vessel. I think we got some worlds first or something. Um, orbit Kerbin is tempting, but yeah, let's, let's just pick Orbit Kerbin. We could have a nice guidance here. We got some other probe cores here. Tulip. They all look like Vanguard to me. <laughs> Navsat though. Barrel navigation satellite for now. Uh, what what kind of science? This has all sorts of science experiments though. And might and sight. Uh, well, once we unlock those techs. Just telemetry report at the start. Only 800. That's crazy. This, uh, these early probes are like a thousand. That that one's 2,000. This one's only 800. We might as well pay the 1,800 to get it. 661. I mean, it's not nothing. Only 54. It could be good for a kick at the apoapsis. Oh, this actually has less delta V. Oh, this, this looks physically larger than this one. But this one is actually lighter than that one. That is the Agena engine. Well, that looks like a little stage that's appropriate for this purpose. That's pretty good. I don't think there's any problem with that. I would like some RCS though. Control jets. Um, I will allow that. <laughs> I think that'll be fine. And we need some mob propellant for that. But do we have tiny little mob propellant tanks? Doesn't seem so. Is there a way to change this to LFO plus mob propellant? It just has mob propellant. I need a tiny mob propellant tank. I mean, we've got a little reaction wheel in the core, and this liquid fuel tank actually has, uh, this one has a reaction wheel in it. They throw reaction wheels all over the place, don't they? This has RCS built in. Costs a lot though, that one costs a lot. Unlock costs 1,500, this one is just 140. This engine can't really push such a large tank. 5,000 does not sound like enough to me to get to orbit. Maybe. Do we actually need the SRB to decouple from the probe? I don't think so. Let me just keep it attached. I, I think I'll have to get rid of KS-3P. It's interesting though to have this <laughs> pattern here for some reason. I suspect it's KS-3P, I can't be sure of that. Okay, uh, I don't apparently have smart ASS to work with here. So that's gonna be wonderful. I guess we unlock that at some other point. 
that's not how uh, it works with realism overhaul, but we will go with this ignition and throttle up and launch. Up we go. Weird shimmering effect too. Should I have put fins? We are gonna find out. Oh god, it's coming with us. <laughs> okay. I hope it's K3P, that'll at least make it easier to fix. Okay. Have I underestimated the soupiness of the atmosphere? Let me throw all down actually. So that we just have this for a little bit longer. Point directly at prograde. Okay, throttle up, 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 and I think I must have done something wrong there. <laughs> I think I must have done something wrong there. Okay, okay, bearings. Oh, oh, things are just going great. At least you weren't ex as expensive as the last one. Go do gravity scan in valid situation. Fine, run that. I'm trying to spin stabilize and point upward, but... Eh, it's not gotta do a whole lot. Can't even arrest our descent. No storage space. Hmm. Max transmission rate none. Uh, I can't transmit the science? Not too sure here. Maybe that's a catch. Solar panel's broken too. Then realize the surface solar panels like this could break. Oh, we got one extra science. Okay. Yeah, they are little ice flows. I'm gonna get rid of KS3P and hopefully that'll fix the little shadow issue. And we will take a look at what was going on with that engine in the VAB. Okay, I've gotten rid of KS3P for now just to see if that helps with the shadow issue. But what is going on here? Well, we've got this... Uh, so that's the fairing base and then we've got a decoupler here. But I feel like maybe that's just too fancy to decouple. I don't know what kind of thing that decoupler was trying to do, but it didn't decouple right. So we are just going to go with this one, which I think we've tried before. Maybe we should use this one. Uh, neither fits the nozzle properly, but... Um, so it's a decoupler. It is a fairing base. I am going to... Hold on, let's just build the fairing over again. Clamshell deploy is by default on, but I'm always nervous about it because the clamshells tend to go in bad places. I'm even gonna go three sides on this one, but I swear I'm gonna go to confetti if it kills my engines or stu such, so. And so far it, it hasn't been looking good. Uh, we, we can increase the ejection force, but that could go horribly wrong too. Um, let's just go halfway with the ejection force and... Hopefully, on both of them, and hopefully that will help things, maybe? I don't know. Alright, but but I wasn't feeling that we had enough Delta V. Um, but it's hard to eke out a whole lot more from this. I don't know, let's try it one more time. I felt like we were cheated there. If it has a failure, we're going to completely change things and go with overwhelming power. <laughs> uh, yep, well, so far so good on not having that weird shadow. SAS on, throttle is up, and ignition, and launch. Okay, what's gonna happen now? Well, we have an ignition. 
And let's separate the fairings. Ooh, those go go well. No, 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 no. Okay, maybe we should have kept the fairings on a little bit longer. But you know, that's mass I didn't want. Oh, that that thing still has some artifacting on it. I don't know what's up there. Let's not look at. Oh no, there's some back there too. Hmm. See now, I'm I'm very adamant about making sure everything looks as good as possible. That's not good right there. Eighty thousand meters is the atmosphere here. Definitely want to be out of the atmosphere by the time this one ends. Oh, just barely. Okay. Now we should have a reaction wheel. It's getting hot on the probe, huh? Interesting. Okay, we'll just point pro grade and decouple. Alright. Let's start. No storage space again. Um. Flag file for transmission. I, I mean, we can't transmit apparently, which is odd. SAS off, and we're gonna spin stabilize. Uh, you know what? No, I really should have pointed more prograde. Hold on. Cancel that. Stabilize. And spin. And ignition. Come on, little probe. Ah, uh, it's just a little bit short. Ah. Uh, quick, do a gravity scan. You can't do a gravity scan. Ah. Uh, and uh, it looks like the island airfield does not have a comm site on it. Hmm. Well, we need to reevaluate the use of this particular probe. We got the escape the atmosphere at least but this was just just a little shy of orbit it's trying to minimize things but we were a little bit too minimal I'll just leave this be let's go back again with Kerbalism I don't quite understand exactly how the science stuff works I have to remember that um, we clearly need more storage space but we didn't seem to be able to transmit the science properly with this probe which is weird let's see got these configurable experiments command data transmitter it's got a data transmitter and a relay gravity scan it's got only 500 kilobytes though okay so what module lets it actually transmit science then well, you viewers will have to help me out with that one. For now, um, I'm tempted to go with the Explorer probe instead. But maybe we should just build a bigger rocket. The Explorer probe is super expensive. Well, I'm gonna unlock the, the Agena engine and see if we can put a larger fuel tank here and make that work out. I don't think so. This Alpha Star is interesting, but it's really expensive. Let's just go for two of these. But maybe without the butt end of this. Let's go like that. Still got plenty of thrust weight ratio. I don't know if the rocket can lift up. <laughs> it's a little bit a little bit iffy. Could use some light boosters. This has some RCS on it, but I have no idea how it's going to... Oh, it does have some mod propellant, too. That's interesting for a solid rocket motor like that. Doesn't last very long. It's got a liquid injection TBC system for the gimbling. I guess that's why. I mean, they look like likely sort of boosters. But we don't have real decouplers yet. Well, it's a little bit weak on the start. 
and we're gonna have to worry about that a bit. Tempted to just slap a couple of these on. Not that expensive. Let's go with the bare bones version so it doesn't have stuff sticking out. I have two of these. That will certainly give us a better start. Do we have a nose cone that will work here? We don't have nose cones. <laughs> oh, that's sad. But presumably we can have a fairing. Alright. It looks a little bit eccentric and we're not decoupling off the boosters so we should just fire them in parallel with the engine that's a lot of thrust weight ratio now but they've got thrust vector control too so okay we will call this gamma oh no the little ghosty thing is back uh, it apparently was not KS3P after all we can sort of see the outline of what looks like the icebergs or whatever ice flows. I don't understand, but May Parallax and JNSQ aren't exactly compatible. Not sure. Now, we don't have to wait for the engine to spool up because the SRBs are more than enough to start us off, so here we go. I don't even know if under these circumstances of Kerbalism and all the liquid engines do spool up. That's normally a real fuels thing, but I'll just go with that assumption just in case. We could always have an engine failure on launch. Um, I haven't throttled up. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, we've got a lot of acceleration as it is. Okay, the SRBs are done. We are going very steeply this time. Uh, maybe I should look at the actuations to see how quickly I can turn here without flipping. We have no roll control except for the little bit that the probe core could possibly give us. Actually, uh, actually, we should have roll control with the SRB thrust vectoring. Yeah, I needed to turn on RCS, it looks like. Okay, well, we're pretty much flat. How are we doing? We're practically in space on the apoapsis already. It is clearly OP for this payload. Okay, separation and ignition. And fairings, okay. Well, once you're this close to space, it's a little bit safer. Well, I'll wait to see about the gravity scan. Guy 11 science, we can unlock the, I think it's engineering 101. Okay, go ahead and run the gravity scan. Or as much of it as we can store. I don't know, maybe we should get the telemetry report here. With the remainder. That's more immediate. Can we transmit it though? <laughs> Retrieved never. Well, can we retrieve it? Uh oh, we're going down. Yeah, it'll be a sloppy orbit, but that's actually better for communications. Since this is technically supposed to be a relay satellite, potentially. We'll set it up high. I don't know how high we want it, but it's uh, up here right now, and we'll use the rest of the fuel to boost it up further. Taking radiation damage. Oh boy. That's fine, I'm sure. Yeah, what do I need to get a transmission rate for the science? Because this has science, but we can't transmit it for some reason. I will need an answer to that question. Before I proceed with this stuff. 
my limited experience with Kerbalism here. Well, that at least looks okay. Let's see, where are we connected? Oh, we've got two connection points. That's good. So we should be safe to proceed with a burn. We're not getting into any particular orbit. We'll just get as high as... I don't know. As high as reasonable. It seems to have a good antenna rating and everything. Maybe it is all right, though. I won't use the SRB right now. I think we'll just leave it be. So here it is, our first orbital satellite and commsat, and we are going to have to figure out how to get the science out of it. So maybe you guys can help me with that. Anyway, with that accomplishment, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.